and then to silver when Nigeria's Demola Oseyemi failed the drugs test. In the 200 metres, a simple gold for Sidoni Mothersill and the first chance to hear beloved Isles Cayman for solo organ and voice. Please acknowledge our Commonwealth England's New Jerusalem had a few airings. Leon Baptiste in the 200 metres. Christian Malcolm of Wales, bronze. And did those feet walk? They did for 20 kilometres. Joe Jackson. Jessica Ennis was not in Delhi for the heptathlon, but Louise Hazel filled her shoes and took a fill of personal bests for gold. In the sprint relays, hanging on to the baton has been a problem for England. Not here. If it was clear cut for England's women, the men did it dramatically. Mark Lewis Francis is coming on, he gets it! What a run! What a performance from this man! He was miles behind! There was English teamwork in the individual sprints. Turner got a good start, so did the Jamaican Tenno next to him, but it's Turner who's coming away. It could be an England 1-2. Andy Turner's going to become the champion. It could be three. It could be a clean sweep for England. In the women's 400-metre hurdles, silver for Scotland's Aylid Child, while Wales had their eyes on the men's version. He's got a fight for this gold medal. He's got his hold. He's just done it, Commonwealth gold. Wales have a champion, and what a champion. Hurdling champions and heroes who come in further back. So that's not technique, that's, he's just tired. I hope in time for this to be seen as India's moment, a chance seized to be a sporting superpower as it is an economic one. Cricket aside, it was the first chance for this country to see their sports people win on home soil and those moments were ones to cherish. India has only won one individual gold medal at the Olympics and that's something that must change in London. So when the Indian team come in 2012, its archers, shooters, wrestlers and boxers must seize the spirit that they had here and do India proud again. And so the Commonwealth Games of New Delhi ended as they had begun. Vibrant, packed, noisy, celebratory. But the questions that were asked of India before the colour of her grand occasion took over may linger after the games have gone. Was it all worth it? It is set in stone that there will be a next time, Glasgow 2014. Australia and Sri Lanka have thrown their hats into the ring for 2018. In Delhi the sun shone, but did it also begin to set? How many more times will the family of the Commonwealth countries gather to play their games? Well, it's a valid question, and if anything, it really raises the pressure for Glasgow. They've got to deliver the perfect games and make it relevant as well, because you'd say that Delhi were great in some areas, but definitely struggled in others. Yeah, I think it's important that they get athletics, swimming and cycling mm. as a major force right the way through the games. Yes, and those three sports and plenty more will be discussed tonight <laughs> on Games Today, our final Games Today of the Games, 7 o'clock, BBC Two this evening, including a look back at the closing ceremony. Indeed, but uh, that is it for Delhi 2010. Hopefully a new beginning for Indian sport. I know it's been an inspiration to youngsters all around the Commonwealth. It may have uh, lacked a little bit of the big names, some of the big names, but it lacked nothing in excitement and drama, did it? From all of us, bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Dreams that you did. 